Are you tired of stickers that won't come off without leaving a sticky residue or ripping whatever you're trying to take them off of? Well, I'm here today to show you how to remove stickers from books. I feel like if you know how to get stickers off of books, you can probably get them off of just about anything. All that you need to get any sticker off of anything are four different things. A hair dryer. This is a cute little hair dryer that I bought for artwork, but you can also use something like this to remove stickers. Now you don't have to use a cute little one. You could use the one in your bathroom, but just in case you were wondering why it was so little and cute, that's why it's, you need Goo Gone. You need rubbing alcohol. And the fourth item that you need, it doesn't have to be, this is an old cut up t-shirt, kind of like a, a cotton rag. You can use a paper towel, although I don't know if I'd recommend that because it could leave a residue, or a cotton swab. The first book I'm going to use has a matte finish cover, and I'm going to start with the hair dryer on low. Let the heat settle into the sticker and then slowly and gently start to peel it away. Easy and patient does it. there might be some sticky residue left. On a matte finish cover book, always use Goo Gone to remove the stickiness. Don't ever, ever, ever use rubbing alcohol on it because it will damage the cover. You can use a cotton rag or a cotton swab to apply the Goo Gone. Just lightly pat it on the book. Lightly rub a baby wipe onto the book to remove excess oil. You can use a baby wipe to clean up used books and then after you lightly rub the book with a baby wipe you can set it out on the back patio the sunlight will kill any germs or bacteria that might be on the book if you're worried about that on a glossy finish cover also start with a hair dryer on low and let the heat settle into the sticker then slowly start to peel There might be a little bit of residue left over. If there is, this time you want to use rubbing alcohol and lightly rub it with a cotton rag or a cotton swab. Easy does it and voila, you have a nice clean 
book cover. If you'd like to hear more about my channel and the kind of books that I read, be sure to tune in to my most recent video. It's 13 books that changed my life. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day or night. I love you. Bye.